So Amazon Managed Blockchain allows you to easily create managed scalable blockchain networks. So it runs on the Amazon Quantum Ledger database technology. So they are going to have a choice of two different networks. Uh, right now, they only have the Hyperledger Fabric network. Uh, Ethereum is currently still in the works. Um, it's integrated, so you get to send blockchain network activity from Amazon Managed Blockchain to AWS Analytics. And they give some sample use cases down here. So financial services and supply chain. So let's go ahead and create. So as we can see, uh, we have Hyperledger Fabric 1.2 selected. Ethereum is coming soon. So it creates a permission blockchain networks with access control features. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go with the starter. Uh, network name, test, blockchain, network. So here is the voting policy. So this is pretty interesting. Essentially, you can create proposals to remove or add new users. So right here, you can select uh, what the voting threshold is. So you can say greater than or greater than equal to, and you could set the, uh, the percentage right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at 50%. So the proposal duration is how long the proposal are open for voting. So I'm gonna leave it at 24 hours. So I'm gonna click uh, next. So right here, we're gonna go and create the default member. So this is a certificate authority for the Hyperledger Fabric network. Okay, now that that's all set. Okay, so we're going to review. So we're creating a Hyperledger uh, Fabric, a voting policy greater than 50% with 24 hour proposal. We're going to go ahead and create it. As we can see, that's now uh, being created. So if we take a look at members, here's our admin member here. Uh, we could go to proposals. So here are where you'll create proposals to remove members or invite uh, new AWS accounts to join. So we could go ahead and propose an invitation. So you could choose a member down here. Right now it's still being created, so uh, we can't do that right now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, so here's the pricing for it. It's, it's not free. You pay on an hourly basis based on how much usage there is. And uh, so the membership rate is 30 cents per hour. Um, on-demand pure node pricing is 0.034 cents per hour. So this is for extra nodes in the network. Um, and then here's the storage rate of 10 cents per gigabyte per month. And then the data written again is 10 cents per gigabyte. And they also have AWS data transfer charges, which are uh, standard. So yeah, once you have this set up and created and you try out adding and removing members, you probably want to go and delete it because it does cost you per hour that's set up. So I'd make sure to go ahead and delete it after it sets up.